Hello everyone, in this video I will list you 10 things you may not know within Anno 1800. Number 1. Productivity can be manually adjusted by each production building. So once you've selected the production building of choice, you'll see at the bottom corner on the left it says adjust working conditions. So once you press there, you can change the production levels by 50% increase or by 50% decrease. Whatever you choose, it will affect the mood of that specific worker type. So when you bring it up to 50% increase production, it will decrease the mood, the happiness, and when you decrease the production, it will increase the mood. Number two, you can block your citizens from consuming a specific type of good. So once you've selected the house that you want to stop them from using a specific good, you'll see on the menu on the right screen, you can choose the item that you want to stop them from using. So for example, if I want to stop the farmers from using the clothes, you can go to the icon or to the bar next to the icon and press on it. And this will prevent them from consuming that specific type of good. Number three, lumberjacks and hunter ca cabins do not affect each other's production when overlapping. So for example, I've got lumberjacks here with the hunter cabins. If I select a lumberjack cabin and I move it across over the border of the hunting cabins, you'll see that it will remain on 100% production for both buildings, for both the lumberjack as well as the hunting cabin. Number four, you can gain workforce from different islands by only having a commuter pier and a starting harbor. So also there is one catch though by doing this, you need a certain amount of influence which you get through the expansion, which will give, grant you additional 200 workforce of each working tier. So that is the one exception. Number five, once you've entered into an alliance with the pirates of both the old and the new world, they will grant you the opportunity to buy a specialized ship from both of them respectively. With Anne, you get the extravaganza steamer, and then also with John LaFortune, you get the Perforian Battlecruiser. Number six, by placing paved roads, it both extends the range of your production buildings as well as your public service buildings. So you'll be able to reach far greater distances, transporting goods or providing services. Number seven, island starts off with a natural attraction. So once you've settled on an island, the bigger the island is the higher the attractive level so in this case you can see i've got a big island over here and the natural attractiveness is already at 307. number eight archibald and isabel start selling more advanced ships once you go over the population of 10,000. so as soon as you exceed exceed that population you'll find that when you go to the harbors of archibald and isabel they'll start selling you greater ships which will include the oil tanker, uh, the cargo ship, uh, the monitor, and also the battle cruiser. Number nine, you can auto trade with NPCs. So you can go to your starting harbor. Once you are there, you can choose the specific commodity that you would like to sell. Click on the display button, and then you'll see multiple ar arrows, which will give you the buy and sell, sell or the buy button. So for example, if I want to sell these bricks, I can press on the sell button and I can tell them to sell off the bricks until it reaches, for example, 200 bricks here at the bottom. Number 10. Most coastal buildings does not require to be against the coast. So for example, if I want to build another fishery over here, I can bring it out into the ocean up until a specific range and I can place it down. I can just take a road and extend it back to the mainland and in that way the wagons or the cars will come up onto the road to fetch the goods that it provides. Thank you so much for joining in. If you did like these tips or these type of videos please remember to press the like and subscribe button as well as the bell notification to stay updated on videos on this channel. I will see you again in the next one. Bye bye.